Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and the astrology stars come together to help you. Now, there is a lot of changing energy in the world, and it is affecting your life. So if you need a spiritual reading with a little extra guidance with astrology, then please feel free to click on the link below. It'll give you great insight into what is coming at your life personally. Now, here's the energy that is affecting your sign in general. The tarot cards that we'll be using this month will correspond with the astrology. They are the King of Swords, which represents cutting things out that need to be cut, the Eight of Wands, which represents communications and activity, the Nine of Pentacles, which represents stability of purpose, and the Wheel of Fortune, which represents opportunity and the future. Virgo, the tarot card for the first week is the King of Swords, and look at him. He is strong and he is determined. Now, you may need these qualities for, even though this week will begin on an easy energy, the end of the week may have a little bit of a challenge. So, you're going to have to cut out the frivolous actions so that important changes can be made. So, be cautious towards the end of the week, but take needed action. Now, as we look into the astrology, we can see that there is a wonderful sextile between Mercury and Pluto. Now, this is connecting your fifth and your seventh houses, suggesting you listen to your deep inner voice, especially concerning romantic and creative partnerships. Then Venus will sextile Mars, and that's going to connect your 10th house and your 8th house. Now, this can also bring a surge of creative and psychic energy into career projects. But as we go into the end of the week, there is a square between Mars and Neptune. Now, that square at the end of the week suggests you keep your ambitious plans a secret, for you might let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, and you can never tell who you can trust and who you can't. The card for the second week of the month is the Eight of Wands. Look at that card. Look at all that motion. Look at all that energy. <laughs> and what this suggests is the energy that's going on in the astrology. Look. Look at all that. Look at all that motion. Wow. So you get in a little bit of a sense of all the energy that's going to be floating around and all the possibilities that that brings. So listen carefully and make smart choices. For this can be a very, very positive time if you rely on the clarity, and that's the important word, clarity of your intuition. So the second week astrologically, really begins with a burst and flurry of energy, positive aspects to Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. Now, this should keep you busy whether you're working or you're playing. There's going to be a new moon that will light up your eighth house, and Venus will square Pluto in your fifth house. So, this is the house of pleasure and creative ideas. So you're going to have to work on your creative ideas, but you're also going to have to control your pleasure principle. And then Venus will go into Taurus, and this could bring a little bit of a break in the middle of the week because Venus likes being in Taurus. But get ready, because as we go into the weekend, there is another burst of energy, and this could be uh, room for a lot of excitement and uh, maybe a little partying. Woohoo! The card for the third week is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is really a very strong card. It always suggests a sense of self control and stability of purpose, and there's nothing much that can rattle this card, okay? Look at that energy, it's just all just there. So, this 
says that you can progress and that you can stabilize any challenges that may come your way. And you can use those challenges in actuality and turn them into an advantage. Now, the third week is a mixture of positive and challenging energy. You're going to have Mercury and Venus in your ninth house conjunct exciting Uranus. Now, this will bring new ideas and possibilities to your mind. You must be open, but you also must remember that conditions can change very quickly. Now, this is good advice because both Mercury and Venus will square Saturn. And Saturn's down here. <laughs> so he brings a caution light to expansive plans. So you need to be careful in your creative activities but also in the pursuit of romance and pleasure. So, you know, be a little wise. The card for the fourth week is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is a really great card. So, this is an exciting energy. It points to the future. There's motion here. And this card usually represents some type of good luck that's coming your way. So this is a good time to put new plans into motion as the universe may actually be moving in your favor and even in a possibility of pushing you from behind. Get moving. <laughs> so remember one thing, that good fortune is often the reward of hard work. So as we look into the astrology, we can see that there is a subtle change of energy down here as Pluto changes to retrograde motion. Now, you may have to make some changes in your romance or in your creative projects or with children. And this actually could be reinforced because there is a Sun-Uranus conjunction in your ninth house. Now, that can bring sudden and unexpected changes to your understanding and maybe some opportunities for travel. So let common sense be your guide, especially when you're dreaming of the future and what you would like to achieve. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe because these videos are free and hit the little bell for notifications. And for a special offer, visit my website, internetpsychicreadings.com.